not many go to to Toulon and and come back from eighteen five. Um, you know that's probably a testament to, you know they've what played eight games in the Premiership at the moment and they've won five and you know there's a lot of changes in their squad and 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 whatnot and and they've made it work and I think that's down to obviously Baxter being a quality um you know coach on that element and making it work and. And it's something that we're quite familiar with here that, you know, um, you adapt and you learn. And, and I thought that's what we did last season here as well is, is having that clarity. And, and um, you know, you can see that over there with them. They've had a lot of changes, but they're making it work. And um, to do that comeback is probably something that they're going to have a lot of momentum going into this weekend. Um, and we're aware of that, but we prepare like it's, it's a, any other game. Every game, every game when you put on the Munster jersey is a is a must win, um, and not just a must win. You know what I mean. You don't add that that pressure of it, but like I mean, you know, if you're any team with ambition, you go out every weekend with that. You know the the mindset to win, um, and you review it when you don't, um, and you look at how you can, and and sometimes it mightn't mightn't work for you, but you try and figure it out, and and um, it's a long season, so we know um, we can trust. What we have, and and um, we'll find our, our tweaks, and and we'll make them count. It's definitely people first in terms of he understands individuals, and then just creates a great environment for for lads in terms of it's open and honest. Um, and I think that's the best place that you can perform. Um, and you can see in terms of the collective, the young lads that are getting opportunities, and then being backed. And you saw at the weekend, I think it was mentioned about. Obviously, Shay and, and Brian or Ben O'Connor are doing such a good job. Um, you've seen in other games, Brian Gleeson and, and lads like that um, throughout the URC have, have been backed. And, and it just means as a squad, we're able to grow as a whole and, and uh, create a great environment to perform. Look, credit to Bayonne. They were very good on the night. Um, they came to play. Uh, they put up a, you know, a really, really good, strong performance physically. We struggled with their weight. Um, you know, on the close exchanges, um, on the gain line, in the tackle and stuff like that, we, we struggled with them, we struggled to manage them and to their credit they were able to, you know, at times break our tackles and, 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 and stop us in attack and they were a team that, that causes a lot of problems really, so look it's just it was something what we have to focus on, how we manage those bigger teams, how we look to attack them in different areas how we in defence, you know, slow down their balls, you know, get too into the tackles, you know, win those sort of big wrestle moments in defence. All those things come to the, the the forefront of your mind. So, um, yeah, disappointing, uh, but you have to give credit to Bayon as well. They were very good in the night. Yeah, by and large, I think we were we were better. Yeah, we certainly were, and we put a lot of time into it, and you know. They were a great test of, of, of what we were trying to do around Maldi. Um, huge, as I said earlier to Michael, their body weight and, and how cohesive they were uh, in terms of what Bayon brought. Yeah, it was a real it was a real battle up there up front. But I think by and large we got our Maldi um, you know, corrected and, and we did very well at times in it. It's just a big challenge around you know, around the the physical exchanges again, and they're they're masters at at you know putting phase after phase after phase together. Um. You know they'll they'll offer challenges around the mall and the scrum, and not a whole lot has changed in terms of what we'll face. Look, they have a very good kicking game. They've got one of the highest percentage uh, percentages for kicking the ball. They kick the well, the ball well, so our back three will be challenged. But it's just about putting everything that we want to do again back in place. And, and that's really what we're focusing on and on how we can impact the game and challenge them. Yeah, th I think it's, it's, it's ultimately about belief in what we've done. Um, and we've done an awful lot of good things over the last while. And I think, you know, there are times when you don't play as well as you want to but I think the key thing is that we believe in, 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 in how we've I suppose gone to places like this and, and put in performances and you draw on that and, and ultimately you know trying to get our scrum our set piece you know our breakdown our defensive sets you know and putting all that cohesion together how we manage our kicking game that's the key thing and look there'll be huge belief in the building that we can do that um, we've got some 
very, very experienced players now, mixed with a little bit of youth, who bring that sort of exciting edge to them. So you know, you just you just believe in 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 what we've done. And look, it's never easy. And going to going to England is a tough is a tough ask. But you know, it's something that we're looking forward to. And um, you know, we just we'll just bring our best our, our best game hopefully.